Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. We're kicking off Irish Whiskey Week with plenty of proof. The cat is very excited for Irish Whiskey Week. A little too excited. Mavis, do you would you do you mind? Do, do you want to get out of the way? Would you no? please? We were fortunate enough to go to Ireland last fall, and we did get an amazing education in Irish whiskey. I can't wait to taste these today. What we really want to see is these two $100 Irish whiskeys, if they will beat up on a $57 barrel-proof Irish whiskey, or if there will be some parody there and we found a sleeper. Let's introduce the bottles, get right to it. First up is a sample that was shared with us by several people, and this one actually came to us from Eric Gunderson. We're getting a little Gunderstruck, Gunderstruck. right off the bat here. This is Blue Spot. It is their cask strength whiskey. It is seven years age, non-chill filtered, aged in bourbon, sherry, and Madeira casks, and it comes in at 58.7 ABV. What is the math on that? That is a four, and a, I think it's 117.4. How did I do? That sounds good enough to me. I don't yeah. know. It's not on there. Oh. It was just a sample <laughs> bottle. So thank you very much to Eric for getting us started. Next up on the list, it is Redbreast Single Pot Still Irish Whiskey Cask Strength. This one aged a full 12 years, triple distilled and matured in the finest oak casks. ABV 58.1%. That's 116.2 proof. And that's a bottle that we literally just saw for the first time on the shelf locally. We've never seen this before, and it popped up and we grabbed it right yeah. away. I'm excited about the next one because it's a brand we discovered in Ireland. We went to a bar, asked the bartender, just give him something different. And he gave us West Cork. Not this one, but one hopefully just as delicious. This is West Cork's limited release Irish whiskey barrel proof. And this one comes in at 62% alcohol. That's bigger. That's one... one 124. Wow. I know. Okay, so this is a hoss here. <laughs> yeah. West Cork barrel proof, a limited release crafted by Barry Walsh and Frank McCarty, two icons of Irish whiskey. The grain and malt Irish whiskeys are blended and allowed to marry in bourbon barrels to deliver a splendid barrel proof release. So... Three sort of very different whiskeys here. We've got a blend, we've got a seven year, we've got a 12 year, we've got a lot of proof on the table. Mm -hmm. By the way, the Red Breast 12 year and the Blue Spot are both $99.95 locally if you can find them. This West Cork we got for $57. So let's see if it can hang in there against these big dogs. Either way, it's not a cheap flight. <laughs> Cheaper than going all the way to Ireland. That's true. This is a blind flight. Julie poured them, I mixed them around. We will taste from right to left, left to right, A-B test, we'll nose before we do any of the rest of that stuff, and at the end we'll put them in a list and see how they shake out. I do not think there was going to be a bad sip today. I am so excited. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. <laughs> you I have love... been waiting for months oh. just for this day. I mean, we, we do drink Irish whiskey occasionally, yeah. but in March it is Irish whiskey and stout season and I am all about it. Let's get to the nose, glass number one. It smells a bit cidery to me. Yeah, there's a definitely a fruity, cidery smell here. I'm thinking pear. I know this is Irish whiskey, so I can say this. It smells Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I nailed that one. It's butterscotchy, though. There's a beautiful sweetness there. Mm. I'm just ready. I'm just ready. I know. You are excited. Glass two. It smells quite different. It very smells different. very sugary. A little oak, which is nice. Originally, I thought this was going to be um, more like a white sugar, but maybe it's like a crunchy brown sugar. You know, when your, your sugar gets a little bit hard. Raw. Yeah. <laughs> oh, raw. That's probably better. Not your old sugar Not in the cabinet. Not your old sugar. Your, your uh, raw sugar. That smells great. There's a little fruit there, too. Maybe something like a red fruit. I'm enjoying the smell on that one. Yeah. Glass three. Butterscotch. Exclamation point. It's all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Butterscotch, mm -hmm. fruit, oak, vanilla sweetness. I've got no dog in the fight here, so I actually do not care who wins. Same. I just know that they're going to be delicious, and I'm curious about this one because you don't see a lot of calf strength Irish whiskey. Cheers. Cheers. Coffee-tastic. Coffee and toffee. Wow. It's so different than bourbon. I just got a flashback like day one where I was like, oh, no, I got to drink this for <laughs> three weeks. And then, of course, I was like obsessed with it as, yeah. the, as we went on. And it's just a different flavor profile that I have to switch my gears on. Oh, I just love it. It's so good. <laughs> There's vanilla here. 
I think that's a pear fruit. This has great mouthfeel. I love the way it coats and it has a wonderful heat. It's pretty warm. Yeah, what's the Irish equivalent of a Kentucky hug? Is yeah. it a, a Dublin snuggle? Oh, I'm getting. <laughs> oh, I hope so. I want that to be something. That I'm, is adorable. I'm getting a Dublin cuddle on that one. Um, I, I'm I'm gonna let that one simmer oh. and move on. You want more of it? I liked it so much that I want to like have another sip. I'm not going to because I have to preserve my uh, sips for this flight. The the finish is is just lingering here. It's yeah. vanilla, coffee, toffee, butterscotchy. It it's great. I just love the warmth that it provides. It doesn't go away. I'm still warm. It is hyper, this is so flavorful. Yeah. Very good. All right, glass number two? Yes. Wow, it tastes so different than glass number one. Wow. Mm. It's got a little apple to this one. A little bit of butterscotch. Yeah. It doesn't, to me, strike me as warm, even though they're only like a couple proof points away. This drink's very, very easy. Yeah. Wow. This one has a lot more bourbon flavors on my second sip. I agree. Coats beautifully. I almost got a little tingle on my tongue. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm. These are good. That is That one's so cohesive, it's hard to pick out tasting notes. It coats and hangs around. I feel like I'm fast friends. <laughs> I like that. Wow. That's delightful. Yeah, I'm ready for glass number three. Yep. Still smells like butterscotch. <laughs> I can't wait. I got a bit of a grassy note as I was breathing in. Almost like a field. Mm. Ooh, there's a hint of hint of smoke on this one. The second one kind of reminded me of walking around in like a like a grain mm. silo, like a grist mill type of thing. Yeah. And this one does have a grassiness to it. Two and three are, they're definitely bringing some earthiness to the party here. I like that term, earthiness. This one is the, ooh, sorry, I got a really beautiful, like, butterscotch, sugary note I just on that, that second too. sip, and then it just kind of came out of nowhere in that, it, lingering on the finish. It's not going anywhere. No. That one coats and coats and coats. That's beautiful. Oh, man. Oh, I like that. Shoot. Um, if you can find them, get them all. I agree. I completely agree. <laughs> they're, they're I completely really agree. Delicious. These are all fantastic. Yeah. And I would say as a bourbon drinker first. Yeah. As somebody who primarily drinks bourbons and rye, these three glasses are all stellar to my palate. Okay, I've had some Irish whiskeys that were just not for me. Yeah. <laughs> these are not included in those. <laughs> right. All right, cleanse the palates and go back the other direction, see if we find anything new in these three whiskeys. I say this every time we do a flight, but I kind of wished there was a bad one, so I at least could have like one of my places in place, <laughs> and it never happens. I feel like I just like a lot of stuff. I don't this think that so there's good. anything wrong with that, and I think I yeah. agree with you. This is great. The, the butterscotch, the earthiness, there is a nice balance there between the two, because mm -hmm. if it was just that butterscotch, oh, note, too much. it would be cloying, yeah. and there is nothing cloying about this. The balance is beautiful on that one. Glass three is... That's delicious. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. You got your shoulders doing the yeah. thing. Yeah. There's a coffee that's hanging around on my Ooh. palate after glass three. Coffee on a couple of these. I like that. After drinking glass number three, this one tastes a bit more Irishy. You think? I was just thinking it tastes like bourbon to me. Really? Yeah. So that one was so sweet. And that butterscotch note and the sugary note, you can kind of see how that maybe has a bourbon appeal mm -hmm. but after drinking that one this one's not quite as sweet and to me that like irish flavor kind of pulls through yeah i i think i'm with you um uh, because i prefer a more balanced bourbon too i like a little spice when there's a lot mm -hmm. of sweetness and and that's what glass two is giving me is is it's meeting the earthiness a little bit of spice mm -hmm. with uh, a, a big punch of oak there. Yeah. The oak is what I think is pulling me into the bourbon world on this one. Yeah. There is not a loser in the bunch. No. Wow. They're so they're so incredibly flavorful. I they're they're, they're all three amazing. I'm enjoying each of these mm -hmm. so so much. To me glass number 1 feels like no holds bar. I'm going to be Irish whiskey. I'm Irish and I'm gonna drink Irish whiskey. Glass one, unapologetically, unapologetically Irish. Unapologetically Irish. Um, yeah, I, I mean, 
I think that glass one is a little rougher on the edges. I like glass number I, I one, like probably I'm, for that same reason. Yeah, I, I feel like if, if these three bottles went into the ring together, mm-hmm. glass one would be chucking the other two out while, while the other two went in to shake hands. Like, glass one is just going to start it up. Yeah, he's in the corner watching. Troublemaker. Like, oh, these guys are going to like play nice, and then he sneaks in there and just put somebody over the ropes. Yeah, in the yeah. wrestling world, this is your heel. <laughs> glass one is the heel. <laughs> I'm curious what glass number one is because I particularly, thinking about that we're drinking Irish whiskeys, like glass number one for that kind of note that it gives me. Big, bold Irish flavor. Big, bold Irish flavor. Yeah. Though two and three are just as delicious, just as bold. It just doesn't have that little, like, you said rough around the edges. And yeah. it doesn't, those two glasses don't really have that. There's nothing rough on either one of those. Yeah, but I'm wondering if, like, it should. Uh, glass, let's just say this glass one is not subtle, and glasses no. two and three are exceedingly subtle. Yeah. And obviously, we are not experts in Irish whiskey. Or anything else. Or anything else. So we're just kind of saying whatever we feel. But I'm yeah. just curious if other people feel that way. Yeah. Well, we'll find out in the comments. <laughs> we sure will. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Is that right? Yeah, I think I'm going to go back to glass number two. Well, I'm going to bounce around. I'm going to A-B test here. And I want to see one and three next to each other because we haven't done that yet. I know. And I keep... Forgetting, I'm having such a lovely time drinking You're these. You're just going to go back and forth until we're out of it and have like, to refill oh, it? I was like, oh, right, I'm supposed to be picking something. <laughs> this all sounds very familiar. Mm-hmm. This is just the kickoff of Irish Week, too. I can't wait to have more. <laughs> what a way to kick it off. This is amazing. We're going to be doing these all week, so yeah. if you're having a good time today, and if you're not having a good time, we'll see you a, a see you couple of weeks week. from now. <laughs> I haven't had Irish whiskey in quite some time. I drank some yesterday. And this is like fun for me. Like I was like, oh my gosh, this is delicious. I like this. I don't want to like compare them. I want to just enjoy. I just want to have fun and enjoy them. I'll say this, and we've said it a couple times in this video. All three of these glasses, if you see them, get them. As a bourbon drinker, as a rye drinker, as a single malt American whiskey drinker, as a, a, a scotch newbie enthusiast, and as an Irish beginner appreciator. Mm hmm. I can say that all three of these are hitting my palate, all in different ways, but they're all amazing. I love all three of these. I think I'm gonna break some hearts today. Is that right? I just breaking I have, some Irish hearts. Maybe not. Maybe they're gonna be. Maybe they'll be stoked. They might be stoked. I'm gonna be like the new. I'm gonna say mascot. That sounds weird, but like your Ireland's new mascot. <laughs> I hope so. That means I get to go there and like. No, they'll send you elsewhere oh, to be an ambassador. No. Well, that's fine, too. The new Irish ambassador. That's way more fun than... Wouldn't that be fun? Being on behind emails all day. Dear country of Ireland. Yeah. Call us. Call us. I think I need to borrow your glass. <laughs> borrow your glasses. I, I don't have much my... left. I know, but I drank all of mine. And I was having such a great time that I forgot again to think about which one I liked better. If you're Here's... wondering about the light balance, by the way, on the camera... Day has turned to night. We have been at this for a while. It is getting late. It is getting dark. I think I'm ready. Thank and, goodness, because and, the whiskey is depleted on the table. I've drank mine and basically drank Phil's as well. Yeah. The, the, the computer that's tracking our audio is... It's wheezing. I had such a great time today that I didn't want this video to end. I hope that you guys had a good time and weren't super annoyed by it. But <laughs> I, when it came down to it... In today's mashup, I know that we're supposed to be thinking in terms of cast strength and all the good things about it, but I really had a great time, and so my decisions are based on the fun time that I had. <laughs> all right, we're on the happiness scale today, yeah. <laughs> and let's go ahead with our third place picks. Yes. Three, two, one. I know. I... We're gonna you be... like you, you didn't like. I eliminated last two. it. Yeah, I don't know why I eliminated it. I, it's, I made no notes about it. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I literally so we made only no have, notes. We today. only have three glasses today. I'm starting to get one of those feelings like maybe we're gonna be completely out of sorts. Yeah. Um, what's your first place glass? My first place. First glass. place. Three, two, one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I we are we could not be further we are polar opposites today. I did not I don't 
know what it is about Irish whiskey, but I don't want it to taste like bourbon. And today, I just want it to be like... You wanted rough and ready Irish I whiskey. I wanted rough and ready Irish whiskey, and that's right. why I went with glass number one. Great. Well, the only glass we've got in common is glass two in second... Yeah. Or glass three in second place. All right. Glass two almost... I'll say. Glass two could have been in first place, but I was like in a randy mood. <laughs> no, I will say if I was just looking to to get a little rowdy. Yeah, it's the one I want. Today, I was like, it's it's the first day of Irish week. You're fired up. We maybe should have done this on a Friday. <laughs> Instead of Monday. I don't think either one of us has given a proper tasting note in probably 36 minutes of real time. So here's we'll what we're going to do. see how many people like the Bourbon Van for the conversational podcast that it is. <laughs> All right. Let's just find out what we've got here because we're completely okay. out of order. For me, it was glass th- two in first place, three in second place, one in third place. For you, it was glass one in first place, glass three in second place, and glass two in third place. So that's on the screen now. And Thank goodness. W- let's just say um, what we were thinking. Well, we already know. Glass one, with- rough and ready, and you liked that. For me, I loved it. Don't get me wrong. I loved it, and I'm definitely... That's not it. what you were looking for. It, it's... I Well, I think that there's better whiskeys on the table is what I'm saying. And that's actually why this channel works. <laughs> because I'm here for the fun. Not, not just for the fun, but basically I'm here for the fun of drinking. <laughs> and you're the more sensible one. So let's see what glass number one is. Glass number one, let's find out. <laughs> is B. B. Ooh, I got more left than I thought I did. Mm. I gotta be honest. I'm pumped about this. What is it? It is the West Cork. When we were in, in Ireland, I kept thinking like, dang, whatever this West Cork is... I'm in. I love this. Low proof, high proof. I don't care. I tried all the red breasts and I thought they were delicious. Oh, but I, I kind of thought, thought they were a little bit boring. I like this West Cork brand and it showed today. I love that you're so fired up I about it. I am so excited. This is super exciting. Glass two is my winner. Oh, yeah. And let's, let's see what we got here. This is A as in, all right. What is that Irish whiskey? A is blue spot. Cast strength, seven years, 117.4 proof. Wow. I was on the fence about this one because yeah. it, as a bourbon drinker, this one checked all the boxes mm-hmm. that I would look for in a good bourbon. And maybe yeah. I'm not the right person doing this test, quite honestly. But that's why. That's why that finished so highly for me because it, it really did hit my palate as a bourbon drinker. So if, if you're a bourbon drinker looking for an Irish whiskey that's cask strength, and Blue Spot is available in your area, it may or may not be. Blue Spot, it, it, it's delicious. I also thought it was delicious, but I think for the same reasons you put it in first place is why I didn't put it in first place. That makes perfect sense. And that yeah. means that glass three finishes second for both of us. That's C as in Cork, Ireland. And both are second place, if you follow around on the screen because it gets a little confusing. Red Breast, cast strength, 12 years, 116.2 proof. This could have easily been my first place i completely agree when i was comparing one like my first place and my second place i was like rationally i know that this glass is better Mm -hmm. but i loved the fun and experience of glass one and that's why it won for me yeah i I think glass three is absolutely amazing that red breast is very, very good. But I also think that the subtlety got steamrolled mm-hmm. by the younger, bigger flavors from mm-hmm. these other glasses. Yeah. I honestly think that's what happened because I do think that glass three, that sweetness, the easygoing flavor profile of it, I, I'm sure I'm sure it's absolutely delicious and it probably should have won here. It got blasted off the table by the big cask strength barrel proof flavors of these other glasses. Yeah, it was a fun day today. Had I a great time. there was nothing bad on the table. This was all kinds of fun and the, the fun's just getting started. This is day 1 of St. Patrick's week and we'll be either doing a video or a live stream every day this week. So keep coming back to the Bourbon Van and we'll have more nonsense for you essentially (laughs) let us know have you had these whiskeys what's your favorite have you tried the west cork line because that's the big surprise i loved it then and i love it now and i'm pretty excited there's a lot to like and there was a lot to like on the table let us know your favorite and from wherever we are to wherever you are cheers everybody cheers there was nothing in that no i know i drank them all (laughs) even yours (laughs) thanks for watching everybody